Absolutely. Last one here. Who are you taking between Trey Sermon and Michael Carter? They're both kind of falling right to the end of the first and rookie drafts right now. Do you either of them, or would you go with the, the receivers instead? Do you like the the short or long term outlooks for either of these guys? And who would be your preference? Um, I think I go with Sermon. Um, Sermon, you know, I I, I had Sermon ranked higher. I, I like Sermon more as a player because he can do more stuff. Um, I I think uh, you know I don't know if the NFL situations as good as the the college ones, but I I think that the Forty ers got more running back right. They they have Mostert, they have Jeff Wilson. It's it's not a tough depth chart to really get on top of. <laughs> okay, yeah, and the Jets, who nothing who, either. Lamichael Pirine, like oh yeah, you know, Michael Pirine, <laughs> Kevin him back Coleman, to Florida. you know, like yeah, it's it's gross. Neither one have difficult depth charts, which is why I think they're sneaking into round one of fantasy drafts for for yeah. rookies. Yeah, so yeah, with um with Carter, you know, like yeah, if it's a if it's a one year proposition, it might be different. Then I might, it might be closer for me. Um, you know, then I might go closer to Carter, maybe, but like for sure, if it's a dynasty thing, I'm doing Sermon. Uh, mm-hmm. Ser- Sermon's the three down guy. You know, he, he can do everything. Uh, you saw, you know, like we, we saw flashes of his recruiting pedigree earlier in his career with Oklahoma, but, you know, he had some injuries and then he came back and there was a bunch of other talented backs there, et cetera. And then, you know, at Ohio State, you know, season started late this year, whatever, but like you saw it down the stretch, everything coalesced. He was just dominating people, you know, Northwestern, Clemson, et cetera, down in uh, Michigan State was another one. Um, and so like, you know, again, just the ability to add, um, you know, it, basically in every single facet of the offense, you know, he, he's, he's a pass blocker, he's a smooth receiver. And then as far as a, a running back, like I, I talked about, you know, I've talked about a few different guys on, on this show that do not have very good vision or do not have very good patience. Uh, Trey Sermon does. Um, mm-hmm. And he played for very smart uh, offensive uh coaches in in college obviously um you know first for lincoln riley and then at at ohio state he also by the way this is just a random fact about trey cerebin but like someday he's gonna have a ludicrous uh trivia uh you know like thing about him because i was thinking about this so trey sermon you know he was at oklahoma 2017 18 19 and then ohio state uh last year and then he was you know now he's with the 49ers so in 17 at Oklahoma, it was uh, Kyler. Oh, let's see, it was was a Baker Mayfield, then Kyler Murray, mm-hmm. and then Jalen Hurts. Those three seasons, right? Then his yeah. one season at Ohio State was Justin Fields, and now he's drafted to play with Trey Lance. That's crazy. Five years, five consecutive years. Those were starting quarterbacks. That's fucking insane. I, like That's I don't wild. know that any like any offensive skill players ever played in five consecutive years like in their formative years with a murderer's row of quarterbacks. Yeah. Like that, like that is absolutely insane T- to have a different one every single year. It, anyway, through college is absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, again, like the, the well-rounded game and division, right? Like he knows when to do the cut up thing. Like he doesn't need to be taught that. Right. Like, and you know, great contact balance. He breaks a ton of tackles too. Um, I thought he was an under underrated kid coming into the class. I thought the, the 49ers got really good value on him. Um, in fact, I, like I think the Buccaneers made a big mistake by airmailing that pick on on Trask at the end of the second round. You know, they're they're sort of like trying to nod to the the, the post Brady thing, and it's like, what, what are you guys yeah. doing? Like, you're in a Super Bowl window. Like, you want the guy that was, you know, he, he piled up all of his stats, throw a ducks downfield that that you know that uh that uh, uh Kyle Pitts was you know dig it yeah. out or whatever. And then the the manufactured stuff for Tony. Like we saw with Trask in the uh, the Cotton Bowl against Oklahoma, what happens with uh with Pitts. Tony and Grimes aren't on his side. The, the, right. the pixie dust comes off, you know, in that game. <laughs> it's like, tw- you know, it was, he was like 10 for 25 for like 80 yards and three interceptions, no touchdowns. Um, yeah. And before earlier in his career, when, when those guys weren't mega gods, um, he was the same thing. So yeah. I- anyway, if, if I was the bucks, I would have, that's what I would have gone with. I, I think, you know, Trey Sermon would have started on, on that Super Bowl contender. Um, but with, you know, San Francisco, you know, th- those names you tossed out. I actually like that the late round kid they took, Elijah Mitchell. I'm, I'm disappointed that Mitchell went to the same team that Sermon did because they have some of the same types of skills. But, um, you know, Sermon's just a little bit, um, you know, more experienced and, you know, a little bit better athletic profile, whatever. Um, but, yeah, you know, it, in that situation with Trey Lance, um, you know, we know they're going to be running a lot of RPOs, you know, moving people around, stuff like that. Um, probably going to be some tempo in that offense, too. Um, we know they're going to run, you know, they, they, we know they got good blockers there too. And, and guys that can block in space, um, mm. for a guy like Sermon who, you know, it's the vision, it's the cutting and then the contact balance. 
Um, you got guys that can block out in space and stuff like that, you know, and then uh, talk about a guy that changes the geometry. Trey Lance got a fucking bazooka. He's got yep. a fucking bazooka and, and he's also going to go into the NFL and be one of the five best scramblers. So it, it, that seems like a very advantageous spot for Trey Sermon, assuming he can win the job pretty quick. And I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be able to against that, that cast of characters. Absolutely. And uh, that Shanahan zone scheme has just always been such a glorious thing when they have the right running back. And even when they don't like, Alfred Morris was like, okay, but he ran for like 1600 Steve Slayton in a year. Like, well, and it's very good. <laughs> and, and yeah, you know, like Sermon, yeah, the, yeah, you're saying the, you vision, go back to the, the old man. Yeah. It, it's, it sounds like it's just a, a perfect fit. So I love it all. Well, man, this was a, an unbelievable pleasure.